Wow, if I could get with her, I'd be the luckiest guy in the world. Those were the words I distinctly remember saying to myself when I looked at your MySpace page many years ago in high school. Well, here I am, standing here as the luckiest guy in the world. Zach, can you believe we're here? It's weird, isn't it? Our love story has taken its time, which was sometimes frustrating because as you know, I'm not very patient. But mostly, it has been a spectacular buildup where we've had the privilege of growing and maturing to this point. I love how encouraging you are, how compassionate for others that you are. I love being around you and laughing until we cry over the dumbest of things. When we first started dating, I had the most fun just going to the grocery store with you. I enjoy your company so much, and there's no one else I'd rather spend the rest of my life with. Preparing for our marriage, I spent some time looking through my old journal and found many, many entries about you. It's all in there. The good, the bad, and the beautiful. On August 11, 2011, I wrote, There's a part of me that thinks Zach is a good thing. Boy, was I right. We'd go on for the next few years tackling long distance dating and communication issues, which was really hard. It took some time for us to get our stride, but you led us in uprooting any bitterness and submitting our insecurities to God while planting seeds of understanding and nurturance in each other, birthing new life. When we first started dating, as you know, I was extremely independent and it was hard for you not knowing how you could help me. I thought of myself strong and being able to do it all on my own, but I am weak. I can't do it all on my own. I do need help. I need your help. God has humbled me greatly and showed me what a blessing you are. You are such a great strength in my life. You're my teammate. And together, we can flip the city upside down for Christ. As we grew in prayer and friendship and ministry, I got the privilege of watching you grow from a boy to a man in Christ who was vulnerable, strong, and thoughtful. I've loved growing alongside you. I want to keep learning more about you, about your fears, your worries, your dreams, and your goals. I want to treat you with the respect and love that you deserve. I want to protect you, and I want to cheer you on towards the goals that I know you'll achieve. I want our love to be contagious to those around us. When people look at our marriage and can see just a tiny glimpse of God's love, then our marriage is a success. Help me be present of the here and now, God. And one day, when I look over and see Zach is standing beside me, when we finally meet at the same point in life, I'll welcome him full of hospitality and excitement to move on together. On the day we get married, whenever that is, our ministry will join together and begin and it will be that much sweeter because of the weight. to hold you close when you're down and dance around like a wild man in celebration when times are good. I promise to be faithful and kind to you. I promise to listen to you and work together to solve our disputes. I promise to build a life we're proud of, to build a home where people feel loved and welcomed, to one day build a family with you, a family that is messy and full of laughter and full of grace. And I'll mess up and you'll mess up, but by God's grace we'll get through it all. And I can't wait for the adventures that we're going to go on and what God has in store for us. I'm filled with joy to finally marry you, Chelsea. But it's not the first day of our marriage that will define it, but it's last. I want God to be at the center of our entire marriage, and I know you do too. I want us to leave a legacy for those around us and for our children and our children's children. As I look to our future, I think of a quote from one of our favorite TV shows, Twin Peaks, which says, I have no idea where this will lead us, 
but I have a definite feeling it will be a place both wonderful and strange. I actually hope our future is strange in a way that is unexpected and not exactly what we planned, where God can show off how good He really is by doing things that surpass all our understanding. And I believe our future will be wonderful because it will be imperfect and fun and full of friendship and love. Mostly, I feel confident it will be wonderful because you'll be there. The first time we hung out, I hid your shoes so you wouldn't leave. I think right then and there, you weren't sure what you were getting into with me. Well, I'm glad to see you never found them and that I get to spend the rest of my life with you, Chelsea. I love you. Zach Bike, I promise I'll love you forever.